it is. You can start talking now. Start talking. You start, start talking. I want to do some more things in my What's up, you guys? It's Valley Vaughn back at you with another fragrance video. Welcome to my channel, the subscribers, and let's just get right into it. So, so usually I like to do a little thing where I read fragrance reviews, and I think that this is a really good candidate today. This is what I've been calling M Ink. Uh, no, that's not what it's called. It's called M Mink, I believe. So yeah, this is from Byredo. It's a Swedish fragrance house. One of my favorite fragrance houses. The CEO is super hot. It's the Swedish brand again. Um, very, very niche. Emphasis on that because this fragrance we're talking about today is one of a kind, okay? So this fragrance came out in 2010. Big ups, class of 2010. Big 10 in this house. And um, the fragrance notes are incense, patchouli, patchouli leaf, um, more so amber honey aldehyde sea notes and floral notes okay so let's get into it girl now the first one says it says okay let's be honest now whenever someone starts a review or anything any type of chat in this life with okay let's be honest you know it's about to be some Woo! it's about to be some reads honey so they say okay let's be honest this thing is like having a date with norman bates mother in a morgue while all the clothes that she's worn during the last 50 years in which she's urinated every day are left to hung left hung to dry in the corner of the room yes it's that evil the shade they said very clean while being extremely dirty and animalic at the same time i don't know how to describe that not sure if it's the honey, the aldehydes, the incense, or the sea notes, but boy, it's musky. It took me some time to appreciate it, but now it's one of my faves. That's an odd turn of events. It's definitely not for everyone and not for every day, but in the right conditions, this is a stunning fragrance. I don't believe you. You need more people. It says very classy, um, bit austere and cold, but in extremely provocative manner okay they said if you thought hyrax from zoologist was offensive then don't even look at this bottle girl don't even look at it they says definitely not for you this could also be how cognitive dissonance smells that's an interesting review okay ah! okay okay read this okay listen 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 this. they said one of the two most disgusting perfumes i've ever tried and i had a tester I didn't just have a whiff on a paper blotter. I wore it for the entire day. It has a terrible animal smell. Something of a cat's glands, frankly a cat's pew, a cat's booty, okay? And butchers, ooh, yikes. And a pine used for soldering. I have to say there might be something good in this perfume if it's very, 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 very diluted, but there was something about it that just might be beautiful after maybe 16 hours and it, then it was almost gone. So I guess they could say that it has performance. Okay, another person says, insecticide. If dead animals wore perfumes, then it would be mink and Aka Kappa by Fior. Oh. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I know what brand they're talking about. They don't like it. The, the dolls aren't happy, sweetie. The dolls are not happy. This one says, dude, with a name like that, what could go wrong, you know? LOL. Already conjuring images of ancient fur coats that I smelled as a kid, mink was going to be a tough sale, and I should have been suspicious enough when even the Byrator rep issued a stuttering warning before spraying it. That's funny. She was like, oh, well, look, I have to tell you, before I spray this, you might smell a bit stonky boy. So they say, well, you know, bring on that little dead fox thing my mom w never wore, but drowned in mothballs anyway. Because man, that's a wealth of pleasures right there compared to this heap of rejected humanity. Ooh! Mm. Oh my God! I can't really imagine that there was any other intention here other than to celebrate bodily process bodily processes because that's all i smell Ew. now i kind of i really want to smell it though does it smell that bad four hundred dollars three hundred dollars for that they say in the 90s metallica had an album that featured an up close image of a slosh mix of blood pee semen and vomit for the cover that pic stung my eyes and just looking at it you could smell the sour salty refuse they called this album Load. For by Rado, I'm kind of getting a little bit sick thinking about it. <laughs> They called this album Load. If Byredo could only borrow from Metallica, it's because Mink 
It's because mink is the true load. Oh my God. These people don't like it. The dolls don't like it. Okay. The other person says, I don't know what's in here, but it's utterly repulsive. I love Barreto perfumes, but this one contains a certain note that literally burns my nostrils from the very first spray. Maybe it's the aldehydes mixed with the C notes. It smells exactly like alcohol lathered in cheap animal hides. The amber slash patchouli have no chance to peek through. Huh. They say, anyways, I don't recommend wearing this to job interviews or dates as it, ex it, as it is an extremely particular scent, LOL. It's not delicious, not masculine, not feminine, not sweet, not sour, not powdery, nor refreshing. Please try before you buy or blind buy at your own risk. <laughs> oh my God, listen to this one, listen, listen, listen. It says an animal covered, I'm sorry, it smells like a lamb covered in blood after he fell off the cliff. <laughs> Ocean waves swept over him as he lie wounded, helpless on a black rock. Explosion of blood and cured meat. Ugh, that's funny. <laughs> oh my God. Ooh, that's funny. Oh gosh. Hmm. Let's see. What's another good one? Uh, dystopia in a bottle. I think I love this. Hmm. They said when I tried it at the shop, I felt intrigued and repulsed in equal measure. There's just not enough ink. So wait, is there ink in this fragrance legitimately? I said when I tried it at the shop, I felt intrigued and repulsed in equal measure. There was just enough ink there, a smell I've always loved all my life. So there is ink in there. Okay. As to insecurely request a sample, I'm glad I did because this is the type of niche style I've been getting more and more into lately. A modern, wild, non-perfume fragrance. He might be running around a little bit stonky boy. They said the opening is a disaster for me unsure as to what the actual smell is for some it smells like urine i'm not so sure but it is pungent fortunately it evolves quickly the evolution and eventual dry down is what i love most about m mink it is like an inky another 13 by lilabo another fragrance i love okay i'm unsure of the sillage and the projection of this probably moderate but the longevity is great. Look, the ones that stink always last the best. The ones that smell stonky boy, you can never get them off your skin. It's the ones that smell wonderful. It's the ones you're like, please stay, come, please don't go. But anyways, they say, in case it's not clear by now, buyer beware. It's a bold and unusual futuristic fragrance. This is what robots will smell like after they come for us in a post singularity. Okay, well it's 2020, anything can happen. Definitely try on skin if you dare. Okay. Lord, this one is actually has a lot of curse words. I cannot read. I cannot read it, but you guys can go in here. Look at your sound, okay? Mm. This one says, have you ever expressed your... Have you ever expressed your dog or cat's anal glands? I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's a typo. I don't have any pets. I've never had any pets. So I don't know what that means. I don't think I want to know. <sighs> a necessary but grotesque part of pet ownership. Well, I don't know if I will be owning any. They said this perfume smells exactly. Oh, God. Blech. Blech. Exactly like the discharge from that said post procedure. I'm gonna be skinny for the rest of the night because I can't eat. Absolutely repugnant. My cat sniffed the sample vial and opened its mouth in the truest insulting cat fashion. If this smells quite nice on anyone, they must be magic or have the rarest of chemistries. My hat is tipped to them. Hmm. Now I am intrigued by the ink part because I like a metallic scent. And by rails, I feel like Blanche kind of has this mini, mini, mini bit of metallic 
nature to Blanche. It's like fresh and clean, but it's a little bit like, it smells a little bit metallic. So it says that this fragrance in mink opens harsh and metallic. Yep, it smells like ink. It has some sort of headache inducing aroma chemical screech. They said, why would anyone want to smell like this? Okay, interesting. They said, it smells like an old Catholic church. It's weird and interesting. I actually really like it, but it took a while. There's definitely an animal stinkiness that's off-putting, but also intriguing. Also salt, metal, calligraphy, ink, um, a dusty patchouli scent as well. As it dry downs, yes, the ocean funk can be a little bit oh in a public bathroom in the beginning. So water in a public bathroom smells. The ocean funk smells like water in a public bathroom. I can't get with it, baby. It moves from a stink to more of a dirty incense. Okay, that's not a great progression. There's something more of a really old, dusty church, unused, pretty much unclean for decades, if not centuries. It's reminiscent of some of the Comme des Garçons ink fragrances, but it's still got a very different feel, more earthy and organic than any of the Comme des Garçons I've smelled. I say that it has more in common with Salvador Dali, poor Ohm, with its dirty antique, sto antique store vibe. It's no surprise that it's so polarizing. If modern fragrances are obsessed with being clean and inoffensive, M Ink is a big F you to all of that. Antiquated and strange. I'm about to gift this to someone. They were like, oh my God, thank you for the fragrance. I'm like, yes, you have to try it on. You gotta try it. Ruin their life. Hmm. So it says M Ink to me is the antithesis of Bao de Freak. Where Bao de Freak is a saint with fruits in her hands. This is the devil carrying a knife ready to stab your back. The combination of notes ends up smelling like rubber and burnt wood. It's dark, but not complex. I'm shocked no one has mentioned Mark Jacobs' bang as they smell very much so similar in my opinion. Hmm. Mark Jacobs makes a scent that smells like this. Hmm. That's a big F you to all the people that are saying he's too commercial. Someone said, I tried this, but I tried this because of the conflicting reviews, but I have to say, I hate it. To me, it smells like a mix of shoe polish and really, really strong old wooden furniture. It lasts and lasts forever on my skin, which is a shame because it's such a strong off-putting scent. Unique, but not for me. Couldn't wait to get home and scrub this off my wrist. This person says, I wanted to like this, but after reading some of the comments I received, um, I have to agree that it smells like pee on a leather jacket. I certainly respect that Byredo is making um, very unique original fragrances though. Well, well, well. Okay, I'm gonna read this last one that I'm gonna stop, okay? It says, really, is it that bad? I really wonder about the hype of disliking this fragrance here. I'm not a big fan of Byredo, but this one here is quite different. And to be honest, I was quite afraid to try this because of the dislike hype. In easy words, it's more of a medical vibe. It's something that's like a nylon manufacturing or device that you've just opened from a brown paper carton covered up in a vacuum nylon bag. What? I can't smell the honey, the aqua. I can't smell anything artificial. All I smell is an amusing quality of notes. This fragrance is very interesting. Neither, neither stinky or filthy as it is nylon, refreshingly made device for essence lovers. Okay. All right, well, that's that. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.